Here at home, high-tech aerial enforcement helped the city of Santa Maria identify where a number of illegal fireworks launched last night. There were a lot of them. And News Channel reporter Dave Alley joins us live from Santa Maria, where some folks face a hefty fine. Dave. Well, they certainly are, CJ and Beth. And if you were anywhere in Santa Maria last night after dark, what you saw was something that many here are calling to look like a war zone, just a stunning amount of illegal fireworks that were launched up into the air. Now, the city of Santa Maria certainly knew that was coming and in preparation, plans were put into place to deploy a high altitude aircraft, all in an effort to try and limit the use of the dangerous pyrotechnics. Illegal fireworks light up the Santa Maria sky on the 4th of July. The volume I would describe as uh, seeing uh, war uh, video on the news. It was significant. A number, according to Fire Marshal Jim Austin, was staggering. You could see uh, aerial bursts everywhere in the city at any given time. By the end of the night, I would say in the tens of thousands. To combat the usage, the city deployed aerial enforcement using an airplane with video and GPS technology to pinpoint launch locations. Our aerial operations were successful. Uh, we were up in the air for about 30 to 45 minutes prior to the weather coming in. Giving the fire department enough time to identify several illegal launches. We are confident that we have between 12 and 15 citations to issue a uh, pending review from the city attorney's office. Meantime, Santa Maria police were also quite busy throughout the 4th. From 5 p.m. to midnight last night, there was 181 total calls for service that officers responded to, um, just a variety of calls. And of those 181, about 87 were fireworks related calls. Over the past several days, PD issued 11 citations for illegal fireworks. It's frustrating, like I said, you, as much as uh, stuff we put out there and try to deter people from lighting these illegal fireworks, we'll continue doing our part and hopefully uh, we can at some point as a city come together and figure out a way to resolve these illegal fireworks. Looking ahead into the future, the city hopes to keep the aerial surveillance program in place, potentially expanding it so it may be able to identify and cite even more violators. The plan is to continue uh, aerial enforcement every year. We are budgeting for it. We feel it is a success uh, and it's a tool that the technical advantages of it are solid for prosecution. And again, the weather didn't quite cooperate uh, for the aerial uh, surveillance for the second straight year. Uh, again, it was up in the air for about 30 to 45 minutes. The city believes that had the weather been a little bit better, more uh, locations would have been detected. Also want to mention that fortunately, despite the thousands upon thousands of illegal fireworks that were launched up into the air last night, both the city fire department and police department say no major incidents were reported. Reporting live in Santa Maria, News Channel reporter Dave Alley.